You've left quite a trail of bodies. You're not one of Sabine's dwellers, that's for damn sure. But you'll die like one. Mercenaries, but we have our codes, like any other soldiers. We'll leave the dwellers be, no matter what you do. That is a warrior's promise. Thank you. I won't forget this. Let the stranger go! Lieutenant Simmons! I specifically to you to remain buried! Doesn't anyone follow orders? <laughs>
Dark Guardian shall come and protect us. And all that is fresh and light shall die. the world that thing it blinded me i can't see it's okay walter i'm here we have to get out quickly you are stronger than i imagined your majesty not strong enough. Prepare yourself for death. Thank you. Thank you. You've saved us from certain destruction. We're in your debt. You'll always be welcome here, should you wish to return. Connor had this on him. It looks like a Belverine. It's yours if you want it. My lord. I see the Grim Reaper. I can feel it. We're getting close to that thing. Where are you? Show yourself. The lost sheep returns to the flock. No one ever leaves the darkness behind. Be nothing without me. All that you love will become shadow. All that you see will become death. No! Let me go! Let me go! Broken little toys. I can't see. I can't see.
You made us do it. You made us. I am Shadow and Death. You made us do it. You made us. to me! It's been inside me all this time, but it's light now. I can see the sky, and it's light. I don't think I can fight anymore. It's all over, Walter. We won. We beat it together. Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? There was a great king once. The mightiest hero of them all. Remember what you would say. Teach me to be a hero. You've done me proud, boy. You've always done me proud. <sighs> oh, Walter! I think old Walter would have liked it out here. He was always a fan of looking tall and stony. I can imagine what he'd say if he was here now. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> exactly. It's time I return to my own castle. If ever you need to save the world from another abomination, you know where to find me. My people shall never forget what you have done for them. We are proud to be part of Albion. I shall return to Aurora in the knowledge that we may at last enjoy peace. Farewell, Your Majesty. Walter was right about you. You're a hero in every sense of the word. The hero Albion needed. What will you do now? I will continue to serve you the best way I can. I belong down in the city. The people there will always need help. Goodbye, my king. You have done what I thought impossible. You are the ruler I could never be. But you don't need me anymore. And Albion will heal easier without me. Well, king, old chum, ruler supreme, pal, you did it. You saved the kingdom. And it's my turn to say goodbye. I'm not cut out to be a general. And I think I'd like to start travelling again. Or maybe... See if Paige needs any help down in industrial. But before I go, let's send off our friend in style, shall we? This one's for you, Walter. This is the world as it could have been. Devoid of color, devoid of life. It is thanks to you that it isn't so, and you did it without becoming a tyrant. The people love you, and you have banished the shadow of your brother's reign. You kept your promise to Sabine and his people, when it would have been easier to turn your back on them. A noble gesture. You swore an oath to Paige to better the lives of your people, and you did so even in the face of great danger. You did for the Aurorans what your brother would not. He broke his promise but you proved to be the better leader. Without the strength to make those choices, we would not be standing here now. 
Perhaps we shall meet again one day, King. Aren't you going to tell me my future? The future will reveal itself when it is ready to do so. So I will arrange an audience with the Blacksmith Association, and we can clear this tax dispute up in no time. Two or three days of negotiations should settle it. Now, on to much more important matters. The hiring of a new head gardener. As you know, the rose bushes this year have suffered some minor discomfort due to the inclement weather and less than salubrious soil management. I have arranged an interview process that should take no more than eight weeks, starting tomorrow morning. It should make for a very... But lest we forget matters of state, we really ought to begin a more considered census of the population. Estimates of the number of citizens vary widely. I suggest each one comes to the throne room and has... Ah! Is it too late for an audience, my king? I'm from far away to fulfill my destiny. To get revenge for everything you've done. How many innocent people have you sent to the king? I don't know what you're talking about. Your lies won't save you now! I've spent years in a cell thinking about this moment. Did you think you're safe here, Your Majesty? Did you think your guards could protect you? I know all about guards. They couldn't keep me in the keep. And they couldn't keep me out of your castle. This is the end of the kingdom. Albion will be free. It's time for the people to rule themselves. I am well trained in the art of murder. I never killed a king before, though. I am the instrument of change. I am the voice of revolution. The world doesn't need the crown. It doesn't need the throne. You're a relic, your majesty. Nobody will mourn your passing. Nobody ever mourns a tyrant. I'm here alone, but I represent legions. You will never defeat us all. You may be a hero, but that doesn't make you a god. It doesn't give you the right to rule a country. I wish General Turner were here to see you die. Such a pity you'll never meet him. We will return Albion to a more pure state. This castle will burn to the ground. Your family invented the monarchy, but it has no place in our land. Everyone imprisoned by the kings of Albion will be set free. I'm willing to die for what I believe in. Are you?
My king, an enemy ship is approaching. What if it was all just recorded messages? He's been playing with us. Is this the perfect soldier you wanted, your majesty? Well, you shall never have it. I'm not alone on this island. Strike! Designed to surrender the most powerful weapon that has ever existed. Allow me to demonstrate. My creation will never desert me. Well then, I'm ready. Your brother destroyed everything I cared for. You may as well kill me. We should take him back to the keep. We can take care of his wounds there. I'm not like my brother. You're safe now.
way. Kill me, I beg you. She doesn't know what she's saying. We should take her back to the keep. She needs special care. Don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. All right, Hobson. <laughs> there was no third prisoner. It was all him. It's time for your treatment, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Good. I was afraid I might have set too high a charge. But then, you have powers the rest of us can only dream of. Hobson was mistaken. There was a third prisoner. General Turner, the finest soldier I ever served under, the finest man I ever knew, died six months ago. I couldn't save his life, but I wasn't going to let everything he believed in die with him. You see, it's time for a true revolution. And how does one bring down a king? How does one bring down a hero? By becoming one. Forgive me, your majesty. Kings and Queens.
you see now who the real enemy is. I am you. And only one of us can live. Revolutionary, what changed? We swapped one ruler for another. What gives you the right to dictate our lives? Your hero blood. Do you think it makes you better than us? Well, now it's my blood too. Witchcraft Mary may have been insane, but her work was inspired. I studied it for years before setting her free, but she didn't know how to use that knowledge. Why become a filthy beast? When you can become a god. General Turner wanted a military coup. But I've had a better idea. I will simply take your place. I've seen how you behave. I've seen how you fight, how you make decisions. I know how to be. And as King of Albion, I will end the crown forever. I watched Turner rot in his cell, too sick to save. I took care of him. That's the best I and I learned the truth about our supposedly glorious hour. Two identical heroes can't overcome each other. We would be locked in battle forever, always evenly matched. But I made sure the prisoners on this floor did some of my work. Now I'm stronger. I've watched them with their powers time and again. But to feel them coursing through me, it's incredible! You showed us that you spared Faraday's life. But as long as you wear the crown, you are the enemy of the people. I know many who wouldn't have taken pity on Mary. Why have you been to decide the fate of a whole country? A soldier must do what is necessary to protect his nation. When I sit on the throne of Albion, I will reverse every bad decision you ever made. And then I will free the people from the rule of the crown. It's a pity you will see such a glorious day. The people of Albion will save themselves, and the army will be there to protect them. Another revolution has failed. Perhaps it's as it should be. I don't know that I could ever have given up such power. Just remember this, King. Albion doesn't need you to sit on his throne. One day the people will claim their freedom. That 
was quite an extraordinary and most unpleasant turn of events, if you don't mind me saying so. I never did trust Commander Milton, of course, but to attempt a coup by taking your place, why, it's diabolical. His death should serve as an example to all. And to think he was loyal to a traitor like General Turner. We should be thankful the General was a rather sick man when he was imprisoned, or Milton might have let him walk free. Thank <laughs> you. 